My name is Andy Stamford Clark. I work for IBM in the UK. I'm an IBM Distinguished Engineer, a Master Inventor, and also CTO of Smarter Energy for IBM Energy and Utilities. My name is Arlen Nipper, and I'm the President and CTO of Eurotech Inc. We provide embedded platforms for industrial, transportation, logistics, financial, medical, and military customers. So when we started looking around at what customers were actually using our WebSphere messaging technology for, we discovered a lot of the data that they were looking after within the enterprise was actually being generated outside the walls of the enterprise. It's very critical in embedded computing technology that we break this vicious cycle of protocol development where the client and the application have to be intimate with each other. MQTT is Message Queuing Telemetry Transport, and it's the extension of WebSphere MQ to sensors and remote devices over networks that are typically low bandwidth or high cost or both. They can participate in a publish and subscribe middleware architecture where we can provide customers very quick solutions that have a high level of integrity. So one of the things we often do at IBM is try to show the art of the possible. A lot of that work is being done in the context of Smart Planet. An example of showing the art of the possible is in uh, a smarter transport project that I worked on a couple of years ago, which we call the Twittering Ferries. We've uh, instrumented the Isle of Wight ferries in the UK with sensors which enable uh, the data from the GPS coordinates of the boat to be sent to a back-end computer system, which allows us to find out when the ferries are leaving and arriving at the ferry port, which then has the ferries Twitter um, that they're leaving the ferry port and arriving. Being part of Smarter Planet to me means that my customers' devices and infrastructures can participate and take advantage of the data from a homogeneous pool of instantaneous information. I could take the, the price of oil, the weather in Seattle, and the oil temperature that I'm gathering, and all of a sudden I could use the instrumentation that I have available to me to take those three pieces of data very serendipitously and create a completely new piece of data. The thing that really excites me about using this kind of technology is the fact that something I can do here in the lab makes a difference to the world. So it's that integration of lots of different sources of data, which is really what builds us up into smarter systems, smarter cities, and eventually a smarter planet.